What's going on? So in this video, I am going to show you how to fix a torque electric timer. So I love this timer here because it's easy to wire. You don't have to be an electrician to figure it out. However, the timer breaks once a year, every, every year since I, I got it. So maybe it isn't the most cost effective timer to get just realizing that you got to replace the dang uh, t timer in it every year. But uh, again, just because I could do it myself and not ha have to hire an electrician is why I like to use this type of timer. So I'll put it up on the screen. Basically, it's you need to buy this piece, uh, this piece, and it goes bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and show you how to replace this piece in it and uh, try to get it working again. So first step, uh, no brainer, let's go ahead and turn the electric off for the pump. Okay, so I just simply pulled it back and got two or three Phillips screws in there. So we're going to pull this piece out, undo those two wires there, and simply lay it back down in there and uh, wire tied the, the wires that you just took out. So it actually is pretty easy. Okay, I have the new one in. Before I push everything in, I just want to test it first. Uh, look, and I pulled the old one out. You could see it, uh, it's kind of burnt. Uh, the new one I put in was all white in there. Um, so my gut feeling on why this model keeps on breaking is these timer switches that you put on here. Whenever they're clicking down here, uh, it puts a lot of force on. You can see the, the, the piece bending. And that puts a lot of load onto that wheel back there, thus putting a load onto this uh, motor and causing it to blow out. Okay, it is working. Uh, I had set it, put on five o'clock, and then came back for an hour and now it's on six just because it moves so slow you can't tell if it's working or not so uh, but everything worked and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close it up and we are good